Hello, this is uh, Master Graphics, aka Conrad. What we're going to do today is we're going to create a pixel uh, pixel stretch uh, tutorial. Uh, it's form sake, I'm thinking uh, opposite. Anyway, what uh, first we need to open up a new document, which I already have done. Uh, what the pic uh, size I have done basically is uh, I think it's 320 by no 330 by 120. And that's pretty good for Sega. What you want for your uh, your document size is uh, 300 to 400 for the width and the hun uh, uh, 100 to 200 for the height. And then you're going to open your render, which I have got from PlanetRenders.net. Pretty good. Uh, it's Command Conquer, to Beer and Wars. For, um, first time ever using this render. First, we're going to use the image size. Get that around 300, uh, 300 to 500 as long as it fits it. We're going to drop it, and as you can see right there, it's blocked off. It's kind of cut off, so we're gonna put it again on the side. Now, as a pixel stretch, we want to. This is an advanced pixel stretch. We we want to basically do that. At, most people know this, but if you're new to pixel stretch, you go to your uh, marquee tool, click like around there. You don't want to like go over here because then you're not you're missing out over there. Over here, uh, your width will be uh, one no matter what, and your height. Make sure it's at least um, as large as your height for your document. Um, now we want to go to Edit, Free Transform. Uh, that you just take the sides, drag it over, then apply the transformation, and you just got basically a uh, pixel stretch. Well, if you want to go really basic and you're very new to this stuff. You can just drag and drop, and you just got your uh, yourself a really, really basic form. Sick. Looks kind of stupid, but and yeah. Now what we want to do is get the old image size back to it. Don't go to image image size because it will leave a pretty distorted picture. Because if photo is an image, yeah, it's pretty distorted, bl uh, blurred out. What you want to do is you just want Control Alt Z or just get the open uh, X out or open up the original thing. Now we want to drag and drop it into the picture. Uh, round, go around, uh, whatever looks good. It, oh my God! It says my name. I just noticed that, Conrad. Anyway, uh, make sure it has a variety of color right there. That looks pretty good. Um, now go to filter, distort, ripple. Uh, maybe yeah. You want large, but the amount uh, about. 200 to 400 so let's go about right there or you can type it in that's what I'm going to do 388 that's fine and then just yep and then go to blur uh, Gaussian blur 4 no 3 and then okay change that to color dodge and that kinda gives that different colors makes it look a little bit better of course we're not done uh, what you wanna do is find your magic wand tool and that's what I have. Oh, by the way, I'm using CS3 Extended, uh, which I have. And also, uh, for my brushes, I'm using 22 pixels flock, which I don't think we will be needing. Then just click in light errors. That's actually pretty good. Um, You want to change your... Uh, actually, that's fine. Uh, you want to create a... This is what I walk you through. You want to create a new brush. Or, uh, I mean, a new pen. Um, go to 3... No, um... 3 by 3. And then zoom in, use your navigator, or zoom in whatever other way you can. I know you there is, but then get uh, your pencil tool out. Press D to get your default. Press right at the corner. Or if it's white, also use white, which I just remembered. That's what we're going to be using. So press X to get your white out. And then you can go to uh, edit, define pattern, name it whatever you want. I'm just going to use a um, uh, pickle stretch. And then what we're going to do is for that we're going to go to edit. Sh no, not I accidentally click stroke. Go to edit fill. Uh, change that to pattern. You do not want the stocks. Okay, change that and now cover it. Change. Oh, also we forgot to create a new layer. Well, how many out of today? Anyway, fill stretch pattern, and I'll create a new layer. Change that to like color dodge. No, um, soft light, and I'll add a little bit of an effect. Now I'll erase the edges. Just go to erase the tool. Change your opacity to like 30. Just brush around a little bit. Yeah, and that's pretty good. Um, 
add a little, little fact. And then what we want to do is put that in there. Um, oh yeah. Actually, let's change that to color burn. No, oh my god. Linear dodge. There we go. That, that, one, one layer. La uh, the big layer. Uh, anyway. Uh, you can choose color dodge. Just mess around with the settings. Anyway, um, and that's basically it. It's, it's, for pixel stretches. This, I just, re it's a pretty good render. You, uh, try to get orange, whatever your favorite color is. Try kind of a bright render. This was just basically, I'll probably be making a new one. And then just what you want to do is change your feather to 20 and get your uh, lasso tool. Go around the render. Choose your render layer. Uh, go to right click, select inverse, delete. Control D. Oh, no. Control D. And that will kind of make it fun with the render. And then if you want, you can smudge it, which we're not going to do um, in this tutorial. And that's basically your basic pretty basic uh, pixel stretch right there. Um, you can, there's other ways to do pixel stretches, but I'll do that in a future tutorial. Thank you.